What is up everyone and welcome back to a team report for the team that I used for the recent international challenge for the month of March. So I'm going to show you guys the, the results that I had and show you guys how to get your Galarian Chinese Aptos because you can finally now get it. When the results are released, pretty much uh, they, also give, they also release the shiny bird. So if you want to know how you can check your results, this is for any competition. Any competition you do, you just go to online competitions. Uh, go to previous competition results and it'll show you it and then you just click official competition and here it is so here's my standing at 846 with a final rating of 1730 i still had some battles left but it was i was already running out of time but i could have probably still gotten like a couple more battles in i still had some left and this is the team that i was rocking dust clops amoongus uh Bregeliki, weakness policy ice rider Life Orb Evolta, this thing just slaps, boys. Life Orb Evolta just hits fucking hard. It's like a truck. And then Incineroar. So now, if you, for those of you that obviously want to get the shiny Galarian Zapdos, for that, you have to go all the way back to over here. Go to Mystery Gift. Get Mystery Gift. Go to Get Battle Stadium Rewards. Let this load up real quick. And there it is. Oh, I have some other stuff, too. Let me just get this real quick. Also, you also have to make sure you get all of your rewards that you have. Because if when another competition pops up, I don't think you can sign up. <laughs> that's, that's kind of weird that you can't sign up uh, until you retrieve all your rewards that you have in there. That's kind of weird. Almost there, almost there, boys. We're almost there. All right, come on, this animation takes forever. Uh -huh. And there it is, shiny Zapdos, just click on it. And there it is, yo, hey. Shiny Galarian Zapdos looks, actually looks pretty fucking clean. Not bad. All right, now let's take a look at the EVs, uh, the spreads that I have for my team, boys. All right, boys, so here is the team that I use. So here is the Dustclops, Frisk, Eeveelite, pretty pretty much, you know, you, you guys have probably already seen this a, a ton of times. So uh, Trick Room, Helping Hand, Helping Hand is, is just insane. It comes in handy a lot. Uh, there were times where I kind of felt like Will-O-Wisp would have been really good as well, but Helping Hand, so Trick Room, Helping Hand, uh, Shadow Sneak in order to activate our weakness policy because weakness policy is such a good item in Dynamax format. Uh, Nightshade, and for my EV spread, max HP, defense, and then special defense with the calm nature because I always, the biggest thing I hate that I, I pretty much worried about the most was like leading off Dustclops, like let's say, um, leading off Dustclops and Amoongus and they just lead off with that like, Kyogre. So I wanted to make sure that I'm able to take a water spout in rain from a Kyogre. And then up next, our redirection mon, Cubaberry Amoongus to take those flying type uh, max airstreams. Literally like the most common dyna move that you'll come across. Spore, Rage Powder, Grass Knot, low key, kind of miss Sludge Bomb. I really didn't find myself using Grass Knot that much, but Grass Knot for, again, for those Kyogres. Uh, protect, and then for the spreads, um, we had a sassy nature again for that special defense boost, uh, max HP, 84 defense, and 172 in special defense. Incineroar, pretty much, uh, I've been using this, inc this Incineroar in on a lot of my teams. Uh, Fiji Berry, Intimidate, obviously <laughs> Intimidate, Fake Out, Third Blitz, Party Shot, Snarl, uh, max HP, 100 defense, and 156 special defense. So just pure bulky, no attack investment. Incineroar is just meant to be there to support with Intimidate, with Fake Out, and with Party Shot slash Snarl. And then the heavy hitter, Calyrex, Ice Rider, Weakness Policy, Glacial Lunch, uh, Stomping Tantrum, because unfortunately, I would recommend going with High Horsepower, boys. I don't have High Horsepower in the game, so... I have to go with Stomping Tantrum, Trick Room, Protect, Max HP, Max Attack, usually, um, and a Brave Nature, of course, with zero IVs and speed. Making this, We're making this dude really slow, trying to make sure we take advantage of that Trick Room. But yeah, I know there's some people that tend uh, not, they don't really use like Max Attack on Ice Rider because you have the weakest policy boost. You also have your ability whenever you get a KO to get an attack boost. But me, 
I, I love running max attack. I love running everything with max either attack or max special attack. And I love it like this. But if you guys want to make changes, you guys can always just lower the attack since you have weakness policy anyway. But yeah, max HP, max attack, last four in defense. And then here we go, the biggest hitter of all, Evelta Life Orb. Whenever you see Evelta, usually they tend to be AV. But the thing I noticed about this IC is that I saw a few more Life Orb Eveltas now. So I wonder if people are starting to catch on because uh, Dark Aura, Life Orb, and Max Darkness while you're in Dyna hits like a truck. But this one's come. This one's a lot different from the previous Evelta that I used in the last IC. Uh, this one has way more speed investment because you want to outspeed Zacians after one airstream. The EVs that I had on my last Evolta were not enough. Uh, most Zacians were outspeeding me in that IC. So now I added 220 in speed and I was pretty much outspeeding every single Zacian I came across. Uh, 36 in HP and then max special attack with a modest nature. Because again, you are trying to maximize the amount of damage you are putting out with Evolta. Uh, and in Oblivion Wing, Dark Pulse, Heat Wave, for those max flares on Zacian, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you pretty much, uh, I have no idea what spread they would have to use to survive it, but I think only, only like one Zacian survived my max flare. I don't know if that was just a low roll, but for the most part, I pretty much tend to just one-shot Zacians at max that are at full HP with a max flare from Evolta. And then last, we have Regieliki here, just pretty, pretty basic. Timid, Max Speed, um, Focus Sash, Electro Web, Rising Voltage, Hyper Beam, and Protect. Uh, it's just meant for speed control, so the Electro Web can help out. You can even lead off Evolta, Regieliki, get the Electro Web off to slow down their Zacian and just fucking nuke the thing <laughs> with the Max Flare. Uh, Rising Voltage. Uh, the reason why I have Rising Voltage on Regieliki, even though I have no way of setting up terrain other than Dynamax and Regieliki, the only reason why I have Rising Voltage is for if I ever found myself Dynamaxing Regieliki, your Dyna move, remember, your Dyna move is base 140. I don't know why people tend to think that it's a wasted move putting it on Regieliki. Like, why do you have Rising Voltage when there's like, you don't have any other way to set up terrain other than Dynamaxing Aliki? I don't care for the double damage with Rising Voltage when Electric Terrain is up on the field. I don't care for that. I want my Dyna move to be base 140 because with Rising Voltage, your Dyna move is base 140 compared to using like Thunderbolt, which is a higher power base power than Rising Voltage. It's base 90, I believe. But your max move, I think, is only base 130. With Rising Voltage, you're base 140. So that's the only reason why I'm running Ry Rising Voltage. So if you do Dynamax Regaliki, I mean, you could also just set up terrain like that anyway. You're putting out base 140 damage and you're setting up terrain so you can get rising voltage off later uh, after your Dyna is over. Hyper Beam, again, max strike, another good way to, to get some speed drops, protect, and then the spread, max max everything, max special attack, max speed, and then four in HP. So this is the team that I use in this IC. Uh, so far, these last two ICs, I, I, these last two ICs, I used the Volta and the teams did really well. I think I did a little bit better in the last IC. I think I finished with 1740s or something like that. I'm not sure. This one, we finished with the 1730s, so a little bit under than the previous IC, but still, the team did really, really well. And I don't know. I, if, I, if I can't figure out another team to use, I think I'll either use this uh, this Evolta team again for the next IC for the Galarian Moltres, or I'll just use the previous one. But anyway, boys, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys again next time.